Welcome back to another round of Spud Ventures. We're back with uh, our adventure in the Dungeon of the Mad Mage, the, the Forgotten Ones, Session 10. So, Great Din, take it away. Hello, everybody. Thank you all for joining us here at the Dungeon of the Mad Mage, uh, a.k.a. the Forgotten Ones. Uh, it is, as I said, the Dungeon of the Mad Mage module with a twist. Amnesia and didn't know who their characters are or what they were or what they were capable of. Uh, they have progressed through the second floor of the dungeon. They uh, encounter uh, an ex-apprentice of Halister's, who is a floating, flaming skull, um, <laughs> along with her flesh golem. Uh, they have encountered uh, the the goblin auction of uh, Yek the Formerly Tall. Uh, and as of last session, uh, they encountered some of the uh, some of the more aberrant members of the uh, uh, dungeon, and. Between that session and this one, uh, there was a, a mini session that uh, took place with uh, um, Usk and Lander, who I just realized I haven't introduced. I should introduce people real fast. Um, joining me as always, uh, played by Avis. Oh, you, you cut out there. Whoops. It's fine. Uh, I know who I am. <laughs> uh, also joining us is, uh, uh, whoops, sorry, one moment. Uh, also joining us is Lander, played by Azure. Hey. Also joining us is Victor, played by Digo. Yo. Usk, played by Newbie Spud. Hello. And Jonk, played by Space Chawa. Angry hello. And now that I have done the introductions that I should have done a minute ago, um, between the last session and this one, uh, there was a mini session that happened with Usk and Lander as they followed Haleth to finish his quest for vengeance and i'll let them describe to the party what has uh, occurred well how much time has passed from now since then not too long like a few like Maybe probably 20 minutes. minutes 20 minutes 20 yeah minutes. that sounds okay. about right uh so we went down that way and uh, we found the last guy that Health is looking for already in a battle with a Mesoloth and two Nothics. Well, more like five Nothics, but he'd already killed three. My God, the semantics. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, com uh, that completely derailed my train of thought. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, so... The Nothics killed Halas' target, uh, which kind of took a lot of fire out of Halith. Uh, and then it was just kind of us against those uh, against those monsters, which uh, we didn't think was very would turn out well for us. So we kind of ran back here. Halith covered for us. Yeah, we sort of left the map though. Yeah, the map still might be on. The map, the map, the map of the dungeon that they how, that had been stolen from Halif is probably still on the body of Mister Third Guy. Yeah, I sent Owl to go watch that to make sure nothing else steals it, because we can send a party back for it. Because I'm pretty sure that Jean likes killing those guys. So you faced an army of things I like killing. At least two that yeah. you like killing. <coughs> that, that so, like Jonk, you want to kill some Nothics? Would I? That is what I asked, yes. <laughs> See, I could help us maybe, like, finish these guys off, and then... Uh, then we can get some well-deserved rest. So am I technically leveled up at this point? Not yet. Not yet, technically speaking. But you already have, like, favored target on these things well i was thinking which in terms are moving of, i was mm -hmm. thinking in terms of my <laughs> yeah they, they they also might be like right behind us so grab your weapons please <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. if you don't want to fight then run oh run, you you think run, that run, that run. word exists in my my dictionary that's cute let's well, go doesn't then your dictionary is <laughs> not very so good the only oh, yeah. running that will be happening here is running towards the enemy. Mm. 
All right. Our, uh... What are we doing? <laughs> We're finishing off some uh, Nothics and something called a Mesoloth. You say finishing off, but we didn't deal a whole lot of damage to him. Well, yeah. If we want to do this... Why would we want to do this? Uh, because they're going to attack us anyway. And because... We want that map? Because they stole Halith's kill. Uh, oh yeah, that too. I think the, they, they're coming this way is uh, the most important thing right now. I'm just going to step yep. over here. All right, fair enough. Uh, yes, from down the hallway, you can hear the the slow uh, chittering grossness of these monsters Hello, as they approach. Who is hungry for a plate full of pain? <laughs> That's probably the best one-liner you've delivered so far. I'm, <laughs> congratulations. Do you want to know what yeah. the... I, I'm sorry. The only thing that's coming to mind for me, though, is the fact that pain in French means bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. It, it Again, it works very well with his accent. <laughs> that that was probably the, the best and smartest one-liner you've delivered this entire campaign so far, and I'm very, very proud of you, Space Shala. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 <laughs> Uh, we should roll for initiative, shouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> you gonna roll for us? Yeah, yeah just to clear, we won that one. <laughs> <laughs> roll all initiatives, and we will let me. Unfortunately, remove Haleth no! from the tracker. He died. Yes, Haleth died in confrontation with the Nothics and the Mesoloth. Fortunately, yeah. but to, fortunately, they all dead. rolled terribly. They all rolled really badly. Y'all get to go first. Like every single one of you. The dog <laughs> rolled better than I did. And uh, real fast, let me do one last thing, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So they will be. This is about as far as they've actually gotten um, by the time initiative got rolled. So mm. they are. In some sort of range. <laughs> I mean, they were already in range, but... Yeah, but now they're, you know, in range for the people Not who everyone can... has 100 squares worth of range. Oh, yeah. Oh, so they are heavily wounded. If I get Eldritch Spear, it's 300. Eldritch Blast is broken. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> it's all a warlock has... It's, it's the best, best thing a warlock has going for them, so... This All is right. army knife of eldritch spells. Mm -hmm. All right, Junk, you are first. Yeah. And I, yeah, I already and I already said it where my got now well, trying to figure out. I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do since I've got my melee weapons out rather than my range. Uh, you, real fast, you definitely can just, uh, uh, you, you've got your favored enemy, so, um, uh, uh, let's see, um, okay, right now, uh, you, this, this could be one for you to definitely Hunter's Mark or something. Okay, um, can I tell which one is wounded the most, or which one of these is likely to be the biggest headache? Um, the the one that's going to be the biggest headache is the Mesoloth, but that is not an aberration. Um, the as far as the Nothics are concerned, um, go ahead and make an intelligence check with advantage. Okay, that's um. I guess that plan. Um... Nice. Hey, all right. Um, dang, with that, uh, you can tell that uh, while both are heavily wounded, Nothic number two is slightly less. Um, the, uh, that said, they are both, if, if you can get to them, you will really be able to knock them dead. 
<laughs> oh boy. All right, so act so um hunter's mark. Um yeah, I can choose a creature and mark it as query. And let's see, I also have ability um I know I have I, I know I have an ability that's relevant here. Um Right. At the start of first turn each combat, your walking speed increased 10, 10 feet. So that gives me, what, two extra squares? Mm-hmm. Four. Okay. You'd still so have the move... dash to get to them. So I can move, what, seven, eight spaces? Yeah, you can move eight spaces. And uh, I believe, let me check something real fast. Uh... How fast can they move? Um, with that roll, I'll be able to tell you in a moment, check something real fast. Um, uh, you can also, uh, yeah, you can also swap weapons for free, like as a free action. Because of that skill? No, just as a, that's a, that's a general thing. Um. Oh. You're, yes. You're right. Oh, you mean before combat actually starts? No, in combat, uh, you can you can draw or sheath a weapon, um, for free. It's doing it doing multiple will take extra actions, but I mean, if you have a throwing axe out, you technically have a ranged weapon. <coughs> well, I'm, I'm tight, but I couldn't like immediate. I couldn't immediately swap to my bow and then use that. Um. I think if you uh, here here's my let me check. Uh, Personally, I would say free action to sheath the weapons you have, and then bonus action to draw the bow. Yeah, I think you can do that. Well, the thing is, I'm going to be closing action. in on these guys anyway. So if I'm, I mean, especially if I'm, I mean, I might as well. Be just keeping those out since I'm going to be yeah. so just dash in and yeah, that's your turn. Uh, just... Well, I'm no, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm wondering how far can they go so I can go just shy of that. Uh, and... they have a you, you know, from you know, your experience with them, uh, they they can move about as fast as you can. Yeah, generally, most creatures you can assume 60 feet of movement or okay, sorry, 30 feet, so... 60 feet if they dash. So, if we stay here, they can't attack. You can also hold your action if you so desire, and just use all of it later. Yeah, just you know when they. I remember when... last time there was only part of it I could use. I couldn't like hold it. Uh -huh. You can't for if you hold your action, you can't move. And technically, what it's understood is that you use the bonus action as holding your action, so you can attack. So I could move. For a trigger. So I could move, hold my action, and then attack when they get in close. Yes. Yes. Um. So the the specific rules are: uh, it is considered your action for the turn, so you must move before readying your action. You must define your trigger. When the trigger happens, just before any other actions are resolved, the readied character can use his reaction to take the readied action. Um, and after resolve, the round is normal. So. Okay. And, okay, where's... So it's your action to use it, basically. Yeah. So I could... So, and my base speed is six squares, but I've got... Plus two, yeah. So I can go eight squares. <coughs> yep. I see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I will um, hold my action to, I hold my action planning to attack. As soon as they get close? Yeah. All righty. Sounds decent. Lander. Yes. Uh, Eldritch Blast. Which one? The Mesolith. Sounds reasonable. 
Yep, Kellen, the one thing I'm not super good at hunting. Oof, not First gonna cut not it. Break. There's not going to cut it. Uh, second blast. Uh, still not going to cut it. Oof. Dang. Yeah, this thing's sturdy. Yeah, it... Uh, it... Do I only have two blasts? I think so. Yeah, you only have two blasts until... Yeah, until 11th level. Really? I get a third. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Well... Uh, let me do something real fast. I'm gonna mm. back up a bit. Let me just write something real fast. Uh, oops. Dang, sorry, I'm getting some delay. Something is happening. Yep. Well, the Mesoloth can, said that. <laughs> I can't I can't understand that. I feel like I the player knows what language that's in only because it shares a written with infernal. But um, I can't read it. <laughs> what else does it share a written with? Well, I don't understand oh, it. Whoops, I I'm sorry, I hit the wrong I actually hit the wrong language. That was supposed to be an infernal. Oh it was? My B hmm. I'll rewrite it real fast. I'm pretty, uh, I'm not going to say it because it's. You know, I keep forgetting that I have lucky. You, you sure do. do. Yeah. Uh. There we go. That's what the Mesolop says. <clears throat> I still don't understand it. I, I know yeah. you won't. <laughs> <laughs> you, that's you, all. <laughs> Yuli shouts something back, and I'm just like, "What?" In the same language. <laughs> Care to give a play-by-play? -play? Not during <clears throat> combat. <laughs> hey, talking is a free action. Talking is a free action, but for now, we have Usk. All right. Uh, cunning action to hide mm -hmm. around that corner. Okay, let me do a. Uh, I guess this would be. This is perception, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this and please, please open. Okay, uh, I just rolled for one Nothic twice. Uh, only the the second Nothic. You are not invisible to that one, but you are basically hidden from the other two. So, Nothic one and the Mesoloth, you will have, uh, ad you know, the advantage. stealth advantage again. All right. Uh, rolling short bow attack on the Mesoloth with with advantage. Okay. Heck yes. Uh, with a twenty four. Uh, yes, that is a hit. Huzzah. I don't like that you seemed unsure. Sorry, I was uh, I I was looking at hit for whatever reason. My my I looked at hit points first. I'm like, wow, that is a really high AC. <laughs> OK. OK, so that's going to be six plus seven, which is 13, uh, which becomes. OK. Six damage to the Mesoloth as the arrow. Uh, again, lodges itself in the carapace, but it doesn't seem terribly... Uh, it seems more uh, annoyed than hurt. <laughs> Great. Well, that's happening. It did, it did take some damage. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, that's, that's my turn. All right. What does the owl want to do, aside from stay out of the way? It, the owl just keeps an eye on the bag with the map. Alrighty. Then Victor, your turn. Um probably just spend my turn observing. Uh, mm. I don't think I have anything that can hit that long of a range. I'm not really built for melee, so I'm just kinda just hang back and wait for them to either get close or die. Fair enough. Uh I think we probably want to just keep crunch bite 
out of this junk i i you you have control here so um crunch bite is gonna go over by chestnut seems reasonable what what the heck oh i am in mask mode i need to not be in mask mode i also have mage hand so i might have been able to just grab the map possibly we were there how fast is that mage hand uh it's got a range of 30 feet Speed how of fast thought. is the mage hand i don't know yeah all right yuli i already moved and i'm holding it until action until they come closer okay then in that case uh first is the mesoloth uh let's see which of these actions uh ooh he can the bite DM's my about tail. to have fun beware one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, or this one. <clears throat> uh, <coughs> excuse me. The Mesoloth raises its trident and points towards uh, Yuli and Jonk. And then it begins to chatter something in it. In not in the language that it spoke to uh, y'all in earlier, but in a different, similar but not quite the same language. The the one I intended, the, the one I accidentally chose at first. Um, and it's going to cast darkness. <laughs> uh, the darkness uh, is fighting back. Well. Yes, uh, and it is going to spawn, let me get the, where's the, sorry, where, let me get my pointers out. Uh, I want the circle so that I can make uh, a 15 foot radius sphere from here. That's fun. Thanks. Thanks for that. Magical darkness has enveloped that section of the hallway. Um, that's darkness even beyond what dark vision can see. Exactly, yep. it sucks. Um, and it's going to uh, it's going to move in one, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five. I think it's going to stop there. The Nothics, on the other hand, are very much going to uh, get close. Uh, I think, yeah, this is Nothic one, so it will go in here. Um, and let's see, does this... So do I uh, attack it after one moves in or after both move in? You will, uh, you, you did specify uh, as soon as one gets close. So um, it will be as soon as it gets close. But the problem is now you have disadvantage. Well, roll with disadvantage. Yep. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> that was that was the tactical counter to that that setup. Hallways are good and bad. Yep. The 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 good thing is that this uh, the Nothics do not have like magical sight either. So everyone's are... blind. <laughs> yes, everyone. Oh wait. Hold on, I might have been wrong. Well, I got to double check one thing real fast. I forgot to look. I looked at the wrong thing. Um, sorry. I it's been a while. It has. Oh uh, well, nope. It can see. <laughs> the Nothics can, in fact, see in in magical darkness. They have true sight. Whoops. Well, yeah, they're <laughs> like basically eyes with claws. I, I know. I just uh, for whatever reason, my my. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I I I misinterpreted something. Anyways, so yes, you you can attack, but you do have disadvantage. Okay. Um. Yeah, and I get and I'm triple. I got the three attacks because I got those two weapons. So. Oh yeah. They just all those attack rolls have disadvantage. Mm -hmm. No. Still. Okay. Statistically speaking, with three, maybe there's a hit. All right. So let's start. Oops. Sorry. 
generation. So disadvantage roll first with the not gonna be a hit. All right. Um, I'm going to try. Um, well, I don't know. I've, I don't know. Have I used my um? What is it? The the uh, ability. Um, the technically, uh, you would have used the bonus action to hold your action. No, I mean, have I used the hungry jaws since my last rest? Uh, yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, actually, yeah. You tried to bite the flesh golem. <laughs> did I? Yep. Huh. I, okay. okay. It did, um, didn't quite work. Oof. And... Uh, closer, but still not a hit. You can hear the creature is almost laughing at you. So yeah, hand. The last one strikes home. You get a hit. Hey. And Huzzah. Yay. And X. So um. Plus two. One D six. Nice. Solid. It's a solid hit. Um, the the Nothic seems aggravated by that because it was clearly already not in a great mood. Um, it's going to try and strike you now. Uh, so let me just go ahead and add this modifier. Oops, Azure dropped connection. Yeah, it was not working. So I'm gonna rejoin. Okay, I'm assuming the twenty hits. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a hit. Okay, the first the first one did not, but the second one did. So you will be taking. Uh, whoops, hold on. Sorry, game shorted out for a second. Where? Jesus, that that dice got flung across the screen. Let me reset my dice real fast because uh oh no nope, I can't uh, unless I click down here. Nope, that's something else. Okay, nope, it's just freaking out. I'll fix my dice later. Uh, you'll take four damage, Jawa. Okay. So I can go ahead and slap that on your chart. Uh, the next Nothic is going to move. Uh, one, whoops, nope, that's that's the character selection sheet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's unfortunately not getting close enough to you, Yuli, to actually, um, to actually be hit. Uh, it's going to, it's going to gaze at you. You, uh, you, uh, uh, you can't tell, but you feel this wave of necrotic energy starting to wash over you. I need you to make a DC 12 constitution save. <laughs> More language stuff. I don't think <clears throat> I do not think that uh, uh, you would have been able to see that, though I do really like that line. Call, call it call it, you know, Hunter's instinct. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, he, he can tell he can tell when he's being ignored by his his most hated enemy. Fair enough. Uh, I think hilariously enough, um, that <laughs> hilariously enough, under common is the language they know, not not deep speech. <laughs> so it it doesn't even understand you. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the one you're engaged with clearly seems a little out by that fact. Like under, it knows what deep speech sounds like, but uh. It, uh, it, it it does not actually understand what you're saying. I'm, I'm so upset uh, by being ignored, I use the wrong language. So, uh, Yuli, um, the constitution check? I have a concept? Oh, is it staring at me? I thought yes, it was it, a... No, it's staring oh. at you, Yuli. Oh, I'm sorry. No worries. 
Oof, not gonna cut it. Uh, so... Four necrotic damage. <laughs> Thankfully the minimum on 3d6. <laughs> yes, just, just about the minimum. Uh, so Bye. yes. <clears throat> All right, back to the top of the order, Jonk. No, that's not what I want. Okay. Um, uh -oh. let's see. Um, depending on how long that darkness lasts, it might you might be better off disengaging and uh, getting out of there. Well, if I disengage, they're going to be attacking me anyway. No. So, well, disengage means you don't trigger AOE uh, uh, AOOs. Oh, so how does disengage work? It uses you your, your action. action to run away. <laughs> it uses your action, and then on your move, you can move without uh, triggering attacks of opportunity. Here's a question. If I used that and got around to the other side of them, that, would that allow sneak attack? They can see. They're not actually... Yeah, yeah they're not blinded by on your them. part. Or is that not how sneak attack works? That's not how sneak attack works. Yeah. And flanking isn't a thing, is it? Uh, I'm pretty. I think flanking is a thing still. Let me double check it's that. It's kind of an optional rule. But... Yeah. It would just sort of. Um, yeah, I, I like. I still like the flanking rule, but um, so but in this particular situation, it would just cancel out with the darkness. So yeah. Well, I mean, I could. I mean, I'm talking about using the disengage, and then rather than retreat back to the rest of the group move around to their backside. Y that would accomplish the goal of moving <coughs> down, moving down. Yes. That wouldn't actually okay. create any advantage situation until, until you've have two allies on either side of an enemy, like mm -hmm. adjacent. Yeah. You need, you need more than one person to do that. It wouldn't help in this situation, right? Currently at yeah. this moment. No, with, with the magical darkness and everything else, it, you, you're better off. Either leaving it or uh, being ready to uh, just wail. <laughs> I'm I'm inclined to think that I'm going to disengage but move downward. Okay. So, I yeah. I would disagree because if you move upward, then you can pull them to where the ranged guys are that currently can't quite see into this cloud of darkness. Yeah, that that's that's. Generally, going to be a problem. That thing's not going to go away. Because if you go south and they decide to follow you, you're going to be kind of on your own until we can get to you. Because I'm, I'm assuming that cloud of darkness is obscuring the hallway. Yeah. I can't shoot through that. You can try. I can try. I <laughs> shouldn't, though. I'm certainly <laughs> yeah. going to try. Yeah, you'll have... Double, double net 20. It's fine. <laughs> please, please mm. join us, Jean. I'm torn between knowing what that should do and is that I okay That's, yeah that, that is always do your do what you th do what you think us would do technically there's a lot of talking to hey, I mean we know what us would do I'm us <laughs> sorry <laughs> he's Jock. yes Jock. do what you think us would do the smart what would thing us do in this situation do what your you think a character would do there's a lot of talking that can't happen in the span of 6 seconds okay I'm just trying to lay out the actual, like, tactical consequences here. No, understood. Turn is still six seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Not a lot of time to think, which is why me translating was, like, not even worth it. Like, of all the, the sort of verisimilitude of role-playing, getting screwed over by tactical misunderstanding is not one of them I want to actually experience. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, is that your that that was your whole action aside from a bonus action? Um, if you have anything else you wanted to do, Jonk. Um, I don't really think I have any bonus actions worth using unless someone can point it out to me. Nah, you'd have to be able to see your targets to use like Hunter's Mark. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. In that case, slander. All right. I can't really see him. So disadvantage. Mm hmm But uh 
Mesolon? Yep. Fair enough. Eldritch Blast. Hey, hey, if you get lucky and hit it, uh, then the darkness will get dispelled. Oh, is it concentration? Yes. Mm-hmm. That is well, not a that hit. The first one didn't happen anyway. Otherwise, uh, it's staying there for 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not a fun spell. No, that one didn't have disadvantage on it. I'll mm-hmm. roll one more time, just... Just you're, not, you're not getting that higher than one. that, though. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Yeah, yeah. The, those, again, blast by, and you can hear chuckling <laughs> mm-hmm. from this monster. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything else you would like to try and do? Uh... I guess that's it for now. Okay. In that case, Usk, what would you like to try and do? Oh, I just realized I didn't attack a second time on my last oh, turn. You did not. You want to go well, ahead and do that? No, real no, fast? We'll, uh, no, we'll, that's fine. I'll okay, just remember we'll, for this time. Well, Arabian Nights it then. Yep. Uh, so I will uh, attempt to hide again. Okay. With the same roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um let me do let me open them up real fast uh i don't i think it's really just the one mesoloth or the one nothic who you know didn't see you well so. the the mesoloth oh, probably right, right no you're right sorry I'll, I'll roll for all of them then but it's not really that big a yeah no the the mesoloth can't see you and neither of the nothics can see you all right uh so does that cancel out the disadvantage of the of the blindness uh it's because I, I have advantage and disadvantage uh let me double check this because uh, I always forget this particular rule cancel. time to learn <laughs> yep um, I do not know either uh they cancel out you cannot stack them um so, uh, I can just roll regularly. Hooray. Hold on. Uh, or just hit me. <laughs> you, you will get no sneak attack bonus, though. Ah. Because um, you cannot have disadvantage. Uh, or rather, it's you have to have advantage on your attack or an ally within five feet of your target and not have disadvantage. Gotcha. So you will get no sneak attack bonus out of this, but. Uh, I will at least have a better chance to hit yes i assume <laughs> aiming roughly at where you were before at the mesoloth basically huzzah that is a hit okay the uh yeah heck yes Whoa! <laughs> so yes. let's let's do oh, this yeah. real, let, let's do this real fast um first the mesoloth takes four then the let me delete this pointer the darkness goes away uh and then second hit into the mesoloth go ahead and roll damage and now you have your sneak attack bonus peekaboo there you are <laughs> really the the first attack didn't break my hiding or uh i think the 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 mesoloth does not have true sight Mm. Also, so, I feel like it's happened within such a short amount of time that yeah. I haven't had a chance to recognize where you are yet. Well, I mean, yeah. I guess I guess I you can only do like one sneak attack I mean, per round, so like I haven't wasn't able to do it on the first one, so I guess I can. Mm. Now I, you I, have. I, I always kind of assume that once you hit the first attack, like they kind of know where you are now. Technically, uh, you'd be a hundred percent right. I think the fact that darkness is involved uh, kind of makes it a uh, ex. If if you want to That's to rule right it now. in this specific instance, I'll accept that. But going forward, let your DM give you a bonus. <laughs> I just I just don't Take want to bonus. like make an assumption later when you hit no, the first attack. It's, I know where you are. Yes, uh. in 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 basically any other case, yes. In this particular case, with darkness involved, the the Mesoloth not having true sight, and you having successfully hidden twice, 
you're good. All right. And I, uh, Fantasy Grounds applies the critical hit modifier to your next roll anyway, right? It should, <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Yep. yep. There we go. And, so. and my sneak attack damage. Ooh, that's, nice. That's 25. Would, get doubled two. <laughs> would that get doubled too? Yes, uh, it's all yeah. your dice. Including sneak attack. That's why rogues are scary. Oh, right. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that is 26. Uh, 38. Which becomes 38. Which becomes... Uh, 19. 19. The, the Mesoloth... Uh, you, you see the Mesoloth... Uh, the, the, the first... The other arrow strikes it in the shoulder... It looks looks down as the darkness dissipates, looks back up, and the final shot goes through its eye and drops it. Behold, the secret sauce. Totally good Damn show. it, Chunk. <laughs> let me have that one. <laughs> you had to jump in with your own one-liner. The, uh, the Nothics, uh, upon hearing the thud of their, um, <laughs> of the Mesoloth, behind them look to each other look back to the group and look like they're about to make a run for it so do we let them no no, no. okay <laughs> victor <laughs> your turn uh well the one thing i thought i could do uh, has been i just kind of skipped me again oh okay sorry well uh does, does Crunchbite want to do anything? Um, maybe go over to Victor and console him. <laughs> Give him a good uh, puppy kisses. <laughs> there, Crunchbite moved a little. There, there. <laughs> All right, Yuli, what would you like to do? <laughs> move to move to kill. Move to a specific space, so if one leaves, they're getting smacked back in the head. Sure ten, am. ten move, 20 attack, 30 go to 10. Mm-hmm. That is a hit. I assume Nothic won. Uh, I missed the thing and it gave me an 8. Now I have to roll it again. Okay. Nothic won, correct? Yes. It's still up. Oh boy, does it look bad, but it is still alive. That's a hit. Wow, not having disadvantage is great. I know. Uh, yeah. Nothic 1 or Nothic 2? Uh, Nothic 1. Okay, it drops. Yay! Uh, so yeah. Uh, Your move, friend! <laughs> the, the last Nothic takes a moment uh, and it is going to, hmm. <laughs> it's Boz got sniped out of nowhere, and it's Buddy just got smashed into a pulp by an angry make, tiefling. Make a constitution save, please. Twelve. Uh. Uh. Oh, cr- oh, it showed up as a 20 on my screen for a moment. Yeah, no damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, it it tried. Oh Lord, did it tried? Now it's going to try and that again. It. <laughs> so yes, you have an attack of opportunity. No, not a hit. It was One, almost a seventeen. Two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. It is running. Get back here. <laughs> <Dunk. laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14. You have two extra spaces. Wait, why do I have two extra spaces? Because of your the that one feat you have that gives you a bonus 10 to walking. But it doesn't matter. You're you're plenty close. No, that's let me see. Um the uh dread ambusher at the start oh each combat. It, oh, it, each thought... combat round? Sorry, let me check that real fast. Yeah, at the start of your first uh, turn, each combat, your walking speed yeah. increases. Until the oh, end. it is the first turn each combat, not each combat turn. So yeah, it's it's not a bonus now. Sorry. Yeah, you're there though, so if it wants to leave, it's gonna have to... Where do you think you're going? Nope, it's Our... mine! 
Uh, fighting over kills. My children. <laughs> Lander, I believe it's your turn. <laughs> 15, 20, 25. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's I'm gonna re-roll that. Seems reasonable. Point. Seems reasonable. I'm gonna take the 18. That's a hit. <laughs> yep. That's eight damage. It definitely is not looking uh happy. Second shot. As I'm gonna re-roll wow. that too. Dang. Nope, that's not what I meant to roll. That's not, that. not the right. That's, that's not, not the not right, right. The right dice. Uh, that is exactly a hit. And and damage. Ah, uh, it drops. No. Aha, bullseye. Uh, Kill killer. Uh, if you ignore the other things, <laughs> ignore the misses. It's <laughs> perfect hit. Another. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, I feel like the guiding hand of your patron was just like, nope. Another, Back you go. Another, sorry. Yeah. He just, he just, just the, the, the hand, the hand of a god just, just kind of comes down and plucks the eldritch blast that's aiming you skew and just kind of like, no, nah, wait, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so yep, there we are. Uh. So now I yes. think I have one luck point until my next long rest, <laughs> which what, I think what, what do you know? I, I think might be happening. I'm going to get the map first. Oh, that's not insignificant. Mm -hmm. So, yes. It definitely seems like, uh, at least for now, things have calmed down. All right, let's, let's, uh, we, uh, once we catch our breath, uh, I am at least going to go back to the room where we left Haleth. Okay. Mm. okay. Oh, I didn't know they well, had everything. I mean, if ever all the, I mean, if everything's that, yeah, let's, yeah, everything. Actually, this seems like a pretty good place to rest up. Actually, yeah, it's. I mean, it's a big old dead end, but it's. Yeah, but there's only it's one entrance, dead end. so it's easy to defend. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, f for those of you who were in this room, it definitely seems like that's why Rex chose it. Um, yeah, makes before sense. his before his untimely demise, until a bunch of uh, admirals yeah. decided to just storm the place with mm -hmm. five nothics <laughs> and a big old bug. If mm. only it held on for like another half hour, it would have been a timely demise. <laughs> <laughs> the hands of Haleth. Sure would have. Uh, so yes, in the room is the decapitated body of Rex the Hammer, the three nothics that he had slain, and uh, the. Corpse of Haleth Gark. Is Darn. what kind of ground? Yeah, let's is take it? that Mesilus trident. Is is the ground? Is the floor rock? The floor is uh, yeah, it's it's smooth stone. Um, there are mine carts around the room uh, that each contain uh, glittering heaps of copper ore. Hmm. Here, uh, um, could we could <coughs> we put Haleth's, Haleth's dead body inside chestnut to bury it when we find a good place. Ah, that has our stuff in it. <laughs> I don't think you're going to encounter many ways to bury a body in yeah. this dungeon. I'll uh, be I mean, blunt. we could burn it. Yeah, burning That's it would about be it. about the best you got. Well, uh, I, I feel determined to try out of sympathies that he didn't live long enough to carry out this West. A funeral's a funeral. Well, alternatively, we could Why put them try? both in the box, carry them around until we can resurrect Rex, and then Haleth will come back so that he can kill Rex, and then it'll, his mission will be complete. Mm, no. But, no, it's... For, yeah, I'll, but I'll say that... No, the man he has officially left now, yeah. Yeah, just, it's... He didn't get to... He did not get to complete his vengeance, but technically speaking, the force animating him uh, is satisfied. gone. Yeah, it's satisfied with the death of all three of the people who killed him. So I mean, that's life sometimes. Mm -hmm. I can I can live with that. Hope it was worth it. Give, giving yeah. his body some rights is fine, but we don't need to carry. We like honestly carrying him around in 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 our box until we can hunt down a tiny patch of earth in this 
grand mad dungeon would be kind of disrespectful. Mm. Yeah. So yes, uh, let me Viking funeral. Take what's useful, burn the rest. Yep. Uh-huh. It's, okay. the, it's, the, it's the dungeon so, delver's way. Let me go mm. ahead real fast. You said you wanted to take that trident, so let me go ahead and add that to someone's uh, <laughs> So who knows how to use a trident? Unless it's chewing Let's gum. give it to no. Yuli. I don't know. If I, what do you want me to do with this? What is the information regarding... Well, I have another weapon. You can throw it. You can stab people with it. You mm-hmm. can whack people with it. Well, what was the information on the trident? It's just a trident that this bug monster was using. It seems to have been... It, it seems to have been gesturing as though it were some kind of spell focus, but it's not a spell focus for any one of you. Oh, it's just... Yeah. It's just a it, trident. It's just a sharp, pointy stick. You can use it for fishing. But it can be thrown like a spear? Yeah. It's got a, a 20 to 60 foot range. Um, what it's the, versatile. <laughs> can, I, can I see the stats on that thing? Sure. You can, uh, it's, it's just a, you can look up a standard. Yeah, trident, martial weapon. I'll, I'll toss it in Lander's bag for now. I can use it. I'm just, I, that's why I was quiet. I was trying to see if I actually can use it because I don't yeah, I th- remember what my think, proficiency was. I think your proficiency is just martial weapons. So would, would you like to take it to replace your uh, pick? I mean, it's, it's, it's being handed to me. Sure. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. That thing ended up in a wall. It when sure I did. died. Yeah. <laughs> no, I probably could have used that pick to mine ores. Mm-hmm. All I'm right. You should it. have a trident now. Yeah, the warpick's still in there. <laughs> it's it's still up there somewhere. So here, no, take this trident my... as an apology. <laughs> okay. Uh, so here, along with the the you know the copper and the bodies, um, you also have this. The, there's a lantern that it was left in the middle of the room that Rex was clearly using to sort of <laughs> watch, keep the room open because he, unlike most of you, does not have dark vision. Um, and uh, in the corner of the room next to where Rex's body was is his bag. I'll search it. In the bag. All right. Um, you see in it a silvered short sword, a thirty foot, uh, foot thirty foot long coil of hemp and rope, two days worth of rations, a flask of oil, uh, a pouch with thirteen gold in it. And a potion of healing. Hmm. Hey. A silvered short sword. Mm-hmm. Is that that's special? very useful? Is that is that special anyway, or it uh, uh, damages shapeshifters? Yeah, I I uh, could make use of that. Yeah, I will I will toss this parcel into your bag. Um, for whatever reason, the silvered short sword is not in here. Uh, so, so the thirteen gold each there? of us could take two and then. There'd be three left over. With what? Put it on the party funds. Give me a moment to add this silvered short sword to the list for whatever reason it wasn't in. There. Um. Boop. And was there anything else? Oh, the rope. The rope. I don't know why this all didn't end up in there. Uh. 30 feet hemp and rope. Um, flask of oil. Apologies. Apologies for this. I don't know why this particular parcel was missing so much. Uh, and yeah, the oil lantern as well. So two of those. Lock it and into Usk's inventory. So there we go. Um, you should have everything in there now. So yep, that was okay. all of Rex's stuff. The map is not in there. Uh ah. Uh. Oh, well. Unfortunately, 
there was no map to be found among his possessions. All that. Mm. Yeah. Ah, uh, well. Uh, well, hey, hey, we got a silvered go. short sword. That's pretty good. Yep. And a potion of healing, which is also not bad. Yeah. Uh, better. There's also, if you, if you so decide, you can also take, uh, you know, some of the, uh, you can also take the, uh, 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 where was it? Uh, the great sword and short bow off of Rex. <laughs> Damn. Sure, why not? <laughs> He's also got plate mail if you want to strip a dead body. <laughs> well, doesn't that have to be? Doesn't armor have to be fitted? Yeah, but it's you can still sell it theoretically. <laughs> You've got a big chest to carry things in. Dreams. <laughs> You've got a big chest you could carry it in to sell, get it fitted later. Yeah, yeah. Give it, give give it the chestnut to hold on to. Okay. I want the great sword though too. You want the great sword as well? Okay. Yeah. I will claim the silvered short sword. It's a Oh no, wait, no, my, my rapier is a D eight. Never mind. Okay. Uh that's, give that's me... actually not a lateral move for me. <laughs> hmm. Uh I have <laughs> Well if we come if we encounter a uh shapeshifter, then the silvered sword will do more damage anyway. Yeah. yeah. It'll be just in case. Yep. So then, are we are we dividing the gold evenly, or I don't need it. I forget what weapons druids can use. <laughs> uh, short bow. Yeah, I mean, is every? I mean, who who's claiming individual items? I'm taking I've, the great sword. I've got I've got Rex's <laughs> parcel. Okay. Uh, I have made a parcel for chestnut that I will utilize later and. I will put a great sword in Yuli's inventory. <laughs> <laughs> so what, does Yuli have five weapons now? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, okay. I mean, I've still got my two daggers, so... I, I still can... have the war pick in here, and I can't take it or... out. Oh, I can take it out for you. <laughs> can you? And all you gotta do is edit and then remove it. Boop, it wouldn't let me. Uh, wait, where is it? You can't edit list at the bottom right of your sheet? I short sword's not on the list. Wait, where is it? what? What's the? It's, it's a little pencil icon. No, I'm just. I I actually can't see the pick listed. I it's right there. Oh, now I got it. Yeah, I, I'm was, not seeing it. Was it in your well, actions? It was in my action. It, it was in my actions. It wasn't in the inventory. It was just That's... in the actions, and I can never took it out. But now I can. Yeah, weird. Anyways, two D six. Two D six. Yes. So yes, you are you are set. You got a trident and a great sword out of this, and I think now, it, as you said, you all want to take a long rest. Yep. All yeah. right. What would you like to do to maybe block up the hallway? I'm sitting guard. <laughs> You're gonna sit first watch. Yeah. Let's, oh, you let's, know I can. Uh, let's position. Let's position uh, Rex spell there. Let's position Rex's dead body as a scarecrow. Ah, uh, for P no. No, I'm just. That's I'm just, just going to cast Lemon's tiny hut at the entrance. Oh. Oh, and nobody can get past it unless they can dispel yep. magic. <laughs> and only people who are inside of it can pass through it. Okay. That'll work. That so seems reasonable. No one can pass through unless they can dispel magic. We've got all this space to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yep. For seems, eight hours. Seems reasonable. Does anyone do we still want to do the first watch and so on? I mean, yeah. Because right. if something comes up. And can do that. That's yeah. something we need to know about. Like the Mesolith could. So if yeah. there's another one of those. All or right. The holder. So, uh, who, how would you like to do watch order? Yuli first, and then who would like to go second? The dog. Uh, I can go second. All right. Who would like to go third? I guess I'll go third. All right. Victor, Junk, who would like to go fourth? Subsequently, who would like to go last? Junk will take, take fourth. Junk will finish off the rotation. All right. In that case, let me do something real fast while y'all take your long rest. No. Rolling Can, dice. Um... No. 
But could Jonk retrieve that extra comfy chair and use it dur- and sit in it while he's doing his long it's, rest? It took so much effort to get that chair in. No. <laughs> I mean, he could take it out. He probably couldn't put it back in. <laughs> no, you could probably take it out, but you and put it back in, but you wouldn't benefit from a long rest. <laughs> Fair enough. Yuli, comfy chair. What? <laughs> while you are taking first watch, you hear something from down the hallway. Would you like to stay put, or do you want to go out and examine it? I mean, I don't think I can <laughs> with the hut there. Yeah. We're not in it. So you can we wake me up help. and have the owl go check it out. Uh, yeah, so just go up to Lander. Like, Lander! Lander! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You need to borrow your owl. There's something around the corner and I can't see because of your Swoosh. stupid hut. Or wherever the corner is. <laughs> this is what happens with sleepy warlocks. At the far end of the hallway, you uh, the owl can see another gibbering mouther. Oh, it's it, another gibbering mouther. Oh, jeez. It takes a moment to look around this hallway, and then it descends. No encounter. Hmm. Yeah, I presume... just sort of descended. Bad. Yeah. Bad just, your watch passes peacefully. Yeah. I'm assuming Jean was kind of mostly sleeping and didn't learn anything yeah. about that otherwise. Yeah, no, uh Yuli only woke up Lander. And then I promptly went back to sleep. Mm-hmm. Lander. <laughs> yeah. Your shift. You hear more noises coming from down the hall. I have the owl carefully check it out there are two more gibbering mouthers and they seem to be having what amounts to a conversation hmm. boy I love camping in the middle of Apparent territory <laughs> I love mouth uh, gibbering mouthers so much well let's One of see them. what they do the two begin to approach your side of the hallway Hmm. Can gibbering mouthers dispel magic? I will need a roll to determine that. <laughs> would that See, be intelligence? To, I would say this or... is probably a nature roll of some kind. All right. That's poor. Sure. I'm going to use my luck on that because I'm going to get it back with a long rest anyway. With a 17, you are certain that they cannot, uh, they cannot dispel magic. But you don't know how the ground around Gibbering Mouth works with Liaman's Tiny Hut. Oh, oh no. It really depends on if Liaman's Tiny Hut is a semi-sphere or a sphere. Mm-hmm. No, but the way Mouthers move, oh dear. The two approach your end of the hallway. Well, and they and they push towards the hut. I'm gonna wake everyone up. Okay. Ah. Um, here, here is what I'm going to say. If you wake everyone up, this will be counted as a short rest, not a long rest. Hmm. Okay. Roll a dice and maybe they just push it and it don't break through when it passes. Well, they can't break it, but they might be able to circumvent it. Well, yeah, if they, they do, we'll wake us up. Yeah. Gibbering Mouthers, their, their movement is so bizarre. All right, I, I'll wait. If they make it past the hut and into the room we're in, then I'll wake everyone up. Okay. The Mouthers push towards the hut, and they reach the sphere. 
and the ground seems to ripple around them as they attempt to push through it. And the 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 screeching of the mouthers gets louder as they seem frustrated by this. And then after a minute, they give up and head back. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Love camping in Aberrant territory. <laughs> I love giving out there so much. <laughs> Victor, <laughs> what happened? I okay. missed something. Go back to sleep, Jacques. Victor, you sure? your I feel watch. Like it was something important. Right, your see. watch passes with nothing. Oh, okay. That's... And Jacques, your watch is equally. Unaffected by anything. Aww. Okay. Everyone gets a long rest. Yay. <laughs> Huzzah. I'm only slightly less freaked out, but the, still the fact that those two things are here on this floor. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So if it's all right, I'm going to use the inspiration track to track my luck. Seems, yeah, that seems reasonable. Because that's basically what it does anyway. Yeah. And um, now I have Hellish Rebuke Hellish Rebuke and oh, Armor of Agathis. <laughs> Hellish Reboot! <laughs> Hellish Reboot. Hellish Reboot. Hellish Reboot. Uh, uh. Oh, man. All right. That's so, yeah. Of, Hollywood is ex- an expert in these days. Sure is. <laughs> All right, friends. Yes, you have, you have taken a long rest. Uh, y'all can heal up a bit if you want to spend those charges. Um, well, doesn't long rest just fully heal you? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Long rest does just fully heal you. Sorry. Yeah. My B. <laughs> Do you have a button you can press that just long rests us? It, it there just, is. It just did, yeah. Yep. Oh. So. And we're level six. Party taking a long rest. Everyone has leveled up. All right, friends. What would you like to do now? Oh, well, now that we don't have our personal compass to guide us, we actually have to make a decision. You sure do. <laughs> Let's see. So no map, which means we have no more insight into where anything is than before. Mm-hmm. Well, not that you had not that you had any insight on two to begin with. The map was for level three, supposedly. Uh, well, how about we uh, go back? Does to the map that... exist? It. Apparently I mean, not. As far as we're concerned, No. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest we start our by going own, back our to only that... lead on it existing has disappeared. I suggest we start by going back to that kitchen where we had that fight. Why? Start from there. I don't want to go that far. Mm, I'd say I mean, we based left... based on the shape of things we've seen, I don't How about here. I mean, we 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 fought the kitchen and then we just abandoned it. That seems like well, the that seems like the left wall. I point of order is well, that the- floaty skull that's probably still there and it's probably gonna be pissed. And also, off. we can't get the chest back up through the chute. Did, uh, did what about he... over here? Not without. Well, you you could, but it's gonna take some skill check. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. thinking that wall there, or like basically, black, basically that's western like a east. wall of bones. Yeah. Yeah, it's a wall of bones. I was thinking maybe heading east. Yeah, well, I was thinking east like, myself. Head south and then east. Or north and east. We can't Break go south. Break down the wall of bones. Oops. That's, we can't go south. I don't south. know what I did just now. What are you talking let's go, about? Let's go break down the wall of bones. Okay. Like over yeah, so we go here. west. Oh. Oh, you want to go that way? Yeah, that's east, right? Yeah, yeah that's east. South and east. Yeah. Those, the, or those, are, those are basically our two east. options. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. What, we can't break down the wall of bones? We can, yeah, you can. probably. We, could. we can't. Well, let's go it's, do that. It's just like rough. It's just like roughly put together bones and armor. We, we it's just not, have it's to not exactly. come to a consensus on which way we're going to go <coughs> first. We'll Cause... split the party. No, no. I'll, I can <laughs> have the owl scout this way to see Here's what's down that hall. Sure. Do you want to do that real fast? Yep. Okay. And I'll go with it just because. 
I'm accompanying. All right. Seems like more. Do you guys want to empty some copper into chestnut since you're all in there? Oh, you mean some of the chest? Yeah, we copper can. In the room? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, wow. You're sure are able to if you want to. It's Let's copper. Do that. <laughs> it's it's definitely yeah. worth something. So is Did Talith like, have anything on him? Uh, like a, nothing like a, of note because he had. Okay. Is when like he a, was killed, he had been, been stripped. Yeah, he'd been murdered ah, and robbed. Right. So. So. Do we want to see what's around that corner, or do we want to see what's past the wall of bones? The corner. Say, three pounds copper. Let's let's break down the wall. All right, real junk, fast. Junk really wants to break down the wall. Okay, so uh, real fast. What the owl can see around the corner is more. Uh, it's more of the mined out hallway. This one is clearly not as finished. As some of the other areas you've encountered, um, you know, the, the, the dwarves that previously ran this section of the Undermo- Undermountain uh, didn't get around to completing the, uh, the vein. There's still some copper ore in the wall. And it's not smooth stone, any, uh, smooth stone there. But otherwise, nothing of note. Hmm. So based on what I've mapped out so far, it looks like if we either take this path down here or the one farther north, it'll connect to the passageway that goes out from the Goblin Market. Seems that way. Moving back there. I'm more inclined to believe that it's the path up north. So this path this path could lead to an exit. Which path? The The one that we're looking at. What makes you say that? One here. Oops. I think the implication is that uh, let me get a pointer up. This area that there you're in might connect to over here. Yeah, I, I agree with that, yeah. but I don't I don't know where you get. And then there's the exit. I don't I don't know where you're getting that leap of logic. Well, because I feel like this path up here connects. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it looks like I was this thinking area. that this might have curved down. Nope, it looks like this path no. curves upwards. So okay. Then we go yeah, that. This way. Never mind then. Yeah, that seems like a, clo- a closed loop that doesn't lead to an exit. Well, since it's a closed loop anyway, we might as well check it out. Shouldn't take too long. Hmm. Go ahead Let's and break take down a peek. the wall of bones while you're Woo! doing that. Woo! All right. That's why we have war hammers. All war right. Hammers. So war hammers. So y'all are gonna break down the wall. Yes. And Lander's I still gonna check out the loop. Okay. We're gonna bring down this wall. So here, here we have a party split by two opposing very strong desires. Thing is, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna stealth. If there's things there, peace out. Have the owl roll stealth, please. Okay, let's see. I kind of don't have the owl's thing anymore. And I don't know where, what... I have it under the tracker, thing. so uh, stealth goes no, with... I mean... No, okay. Let's yeah, I have it. It's in the... Com- the owl's in the combat tracker. Um, oh, interesting. Stealth uses... What, which, what stat does stealth, stealth use? Stealth dexterity. Dexterity, okay. And I don't know what... The owl's dexterity oh, no. is. It, it is okay. That is a fourteen for the owl's stealth roll. Okay. And let me do this real fast. An owl has plus three stealth. That, I know. That's okay. I didn't add the plus. I, I have the plus three in my head. I just didn't add it to this. Oh no! I just brought up its. Oh, card. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no. Hmm. Okay. That's, 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 that's three rolls. That is three rolls. That's three rolls, sir. Farewell, owl. We knew thee well. <laughs> yeah, so, the owl, go. so the owl's going to dive into combat with the gibbering mouthers <laughs> and sacrifice itself nobly. So that the gibbering mouthers don't notice the rest of us. Yeah. Fair they enough. Can only go one direction. Well, Here's, I mean, well, your, your sac- the owl's sacrifice shall be well. Rem- shall be well, now they're going into that corner. So, 
Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think it's fairly safe to say the owl's going to die just via action economy. Yeah. Um, or you yes. know, I can just spell it. So what do I? Yeah. So or you can just spell it. So do I just? Which roll I think is what I'm going to do. Do I just yeah. roll a warhammer? You don't even need to roll. This thing falls apart easily. I just wanted it's, to do it. It's I, just. I wanna... It's just super impossible to actually erase anything with this until I figure out like what the extra shortcuts are. Yuli does a better job. Uh, as yep. you collapse this I wall, know. it makes a fairly loud sound because, again, it's armor and bone and it's all rusted and gross anyway. Uh, Sorry! And you can see just beyond it is, uh, uh, are, is a, a set of vacated washrooms. Um, and in the hallway just beyond that, uh, you hear, um, uh, you hear a hiss that sounds super familiar to you at this point. What? Remind me. Let, let me just add them to the combat tracker. No. And make them visible. And roll for initiative with four Nothics. Uh, joy. Jean. Time to break in the new great sword. <laughs> I'm still last. <laughs> well, still like at least I all before this time. Yes. So there are uh, there are four Nothics who um they uh they heard the clatter and realized, hey, we should probably do something about that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Uh. So yes, they uh, they are pretty vicious and in the room. Uh, I'll say that they have, uh, you know, for visibility's sake, they've at least moved like so. All right. Uh, but yes, Lander, it's your turn first. <laughs> I really like that chunk. I. <laughs> What are you Junk saying? Sh- Junk in Undercommon went, Woohoo! Huh, yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! Okay. But with, but with an Undercommon French accent. Mm. <laughs> undercommon French. Literally cannot imagine that. <laughs> nope. I mean, that's that's why I, I'm saying it instead of trying to vocalize it. <laughs> Morning warm up, indeed. Morning warm up! <laughs> so, yeah, it's Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Uh, that's not a hit. Eldritch Blast. 15 is the number. That is a hit. Yep. Which Nothic? Uh, the first one. All right. As in Nothic 2. Nothic 2, okay. Uh, Nothic 2 will take 7 damage. It doesn't look especially bothered by that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh... The uh, uh, it the, the some of the ones behind it look a little like oh magic, ooh, but um otherwise not ter- not terribly impressed by your mostly miss. Yeah, Crunchbite. What does Crunchbite want to do? Crunchbite is gonna sit by the corner. Seems reasonable. Like a good dog. Victor, what would you like to do? Um, maybe I should get into a closer position. <laughs> Do anything. Three. Possibly. Let's. I'm here for right now. I'm gonna. You're gonna dash. dash. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's... Anything else you'd like to do? E. Can't really. Nope. Um. All right. Uh. Okay. In that case, Usk. Um. <laughs> Gonna take a shot at Nothic too. Okay. Couple of shots, rather. Yep. Not sneaky attacking. Seems fair. That is a hit. All right. All right. And Not a hit. And that's the turn. Okay. So Din. Mm-hmm. In the party sheet order, you got watch order. Did you set that up for the long rest just now, or was it just like that already? I just set it up now. Okay. 
It can be changed later. Yeah, I was thinking it would have been kind of funny if it had already been that way. Yeah, it would have been, but no, it's uh, it automatically sets everyone at zero first and then changes. Okay. All right, junk. So I get eight because of the first turn. Thing. Yep. He's going to hold his war hammer out, pointed right at four, like you know, Babe Ruth style, like. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be hitting you. <laughs> I'm going to knock you out of this park. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to um a not like non plus just march forward. Okay. I'm not sure Nothics like feel fear per se. Not not quite those exact words. And then I'm going to hold the combat action until some of them get close. Until some of them get close. Seems reasonable. Yuli. Uh... Hey Yuli, you know what? You know what comes back after your long rest? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm really happy. I don't think I need them, but probably I'm not. Close enough to hit anything. Um. And four. Oh, I. You said them. I was referring to a certain long distance weapon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's have some fun. You don't, you don't have to, because again, long rest, but just yeah, let me know. The, yeah, not on these things. Okay. Not on these things. It's like Yuli and Jonk are now joint tanks or something. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah. The wall yes. of meat has been formed. <laughs> 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 so are you going to hold your action until they get close? Yep. Okay. We're going to break in this great sword, and it's going to be great. All right, <laughs> Nothic One uh, is going to lunge towards Julie, uh, Yuli, and sorry, I don't know why I said Julie. <laughs> because Yuli is, is the teething version of Julie. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And it's going to attack twice, and I think break its claws on your armor. <laughs> Did I get my held attack? Uh, yeah, it's close. Sorry, this would have happened after your attack. Ooh, Darn it. I think oh, the wait, lunge... That was a battle axe, too. Darn it. I think the lunge threw you off a bit. A little. Uh, do, Nothic, do you, too. Do you get your, your both attacks on a held attack action? Yeah, it's still a, it's still an attack. That's a hit! And does Jonk also get his action? Jonk, uh... Yeah, Jean can use it on this Nothic or can use it on the second it's, I going, love this I'm, sword. I'm going to wait to I'm gonna wait for more I'm gonna wait for more targets. Okay. All right. <laughs> that Nothic I is definitely love this hurt. <laughs> Nothic two also going to lunge at Jonk. Now you have two targets within range. <laughs> so and I can attack right off the bat? Sure can. Alright. I'm going to um yeah, first action, I'm gonna swing um, are, 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 like, bludgeoning or slashing, that doesn't make a difference on these things, does it? No, not especially. Okay, I'm gonna start with the, uh, Warhammer. That's Ooh. a hit! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay, so what do I, so what it, do it, I do with... It will, it will automatically... It auto-roll. It auto-does it. Just roll damage. Just, just, just roll damage. Just roll your regular damage function. Okay, so that's a uh, one d eight. Oh no! On your sheet, next oh. to your in your on your actions, um, it'll there's a little like uh uh, if you grab the uh, uh wait, the thing that says one d x plus x. Oh. Yeah, if you grab there that. You it'll, there you go. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. that's and the I, first attack. Yes. <laughs> Wait, that was longbow damage. That was longbow damage. Oh, Whoops. well, Uh-oh. I mean, well, it's, I mean, it's 1d8 plus 2 piercing and 1d8 plus 2 piercing. Oh, uh, yeah, it's the same. So that's okay. fine. So that's it's just, the same either way. That's just bludgeoning. It's a, mistake, okay. but a mistake that doesn't mean anything. Yes. Yep. All right. Okay, so let's... Um, Not a hit, unfortunately. Okay. 
Then, um... That's a hit! Right. Not the best hit, but definitely it, it's definitely not looking uh, super pleased. Now it strikes you with its claws. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, pretty sure neither of those hit. Nope, I think, I am, I, nope that's not going to do it. I think you are too fast. Um, or, I'm, or I'm just shrugging it off. Either yes. one. Nothic, oh. Nothic 3 is going to... Uh, uh, Nothic 3 is going to make you roll a constitution saving throw, junk. Okay, constitution. Mm-hmm. That is not, unfortunately, going to do it. So, Jean will be taking seven necrotic damage. I will go ahead and add that to the to the sheet. Whoops, where is it? What does there necrotic we go. damage do? Uh, nothing unless you're. It's it's you know death based magic. It doesn't do anything unless you are weak to it, which I don't think uh, you are. It's just a type. Yeah, it's just one of the many types of damage. Nothing four. Uh. Roll deception, Yuli. For me? Uh, yes. Sure. Uh, this is going to be interesting. What? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me do this real fast. Nope. The Nothic does not get anything from it. <laughs> oh. So yeah, it's uh, that's gonna be its action. What? Um, yeah, not that it doesn't to get appear it. into your soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, uh, please, actually do that. I'd like to know stuff. <laughs> and it's going to back up. Lander, your turn again. Just a moment. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just I'll just blast. Not a hit. Uh, that's a hit. That's a hit. Yep. Which one? Let's see. Let's go with number two. Okay. <laughs> Running just delays the inevitable. <laughs> Oof! That is definitely a pain. That mm -hmm. Nothic is definitely looking uh, uh, in in serious hurt, and also is beginning to look shocked. And so are the others yeah, um, that were actually putting up a fight. <laughs> yeah, even the ones that were actually yeah. That and uh, Eldritch Blast is scary. Yeah. Eldritch Blast is scary. Not many things are resistant to force damage. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Lander? No, that's it. Oh, well, actually, I move up a bit. Does Crunchbite want to do anything? You can yeah. go ahead and move. All right. Jean, is Crunchbite going to do anything? Move in. Okay. Victor. Uh, let me see. Well, I guess let me get a little closer so I can throw a javelin. And I will target Nothic number two with a thrown javelin. Okay. Not a hit, unfortunately. Oh, well. Okay. You tried! I tried. <laughs> Usk! Alright, well, pop around that corner, hide, do very well. And then... Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I forgot to roll their perception real fast. Mm -hmm. Give me just a moment to do that. Uh, oh wait, there's just a plus two button. Boop, boop, boop. They literally have to roll a twenty. Yeah, pretty much. And nope. a couple of them got close, but no, they got close, but nobody saw you. Uh. Would you like me to ping the one that's trying to run or uh, 
try and finish off like Nothic 2 or something. Asking the party. Eh, ping the running guy. All right, Nothic 4. die tired. Oh, sorry, that's with advantage. Hey, hey. There we go. Um, That'll be sneak attack. That'll be 20 damage. Nice. On Nothic 4. And then I will just uh, make another shot with a short bow. For an additional 8 damage. And that will be my turn. Most of its life decisions. Junk! What? I didn't catch most of that. What? Oh, yeah, that Nothic is definitely regretting most of its life decisions. Good to know. Junk, it's your turn to kill the monsters. Yay! Oh, this what a nice relaxing cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with a... Uh, After, like, more. what, like, three or four encounters in a row where it's mm -hmm. like, oh, God. That's a hit. All right. And this this is on Nothic 2. Yep. Okay, so... Ouch. <laughs> Still not dead, but very ouch. Oh, I just lost the map. Oh, okay, there it is. Still not dead, but very ouch. Well, that's one attack. Mm-hmm. You've got two more. Yeah, I'm going to... And it's really close to death, right? Oh, yeah. I, I kind of want to, you know, go... Um, um, yes, yeah. you can go feral on it. <laughs> Yeah, for, for um for for you know for i don't the term is completely slipping in my mind but you know more flashy flashy kill mm -hmm. fatality brutality that's definitely a brutality right there so you're going for your bite yes okay just, which which die is that uh it's gonna be a um it's an unarmed strike so it's gonna be a hold on where is it no it doesn't show up uh it's it's gonna be a d20 plus your proficiency which is plus three so d20 plus three okay wait. oh no yuli dropped wait, wait is it wisdom wait that'd be wisdom your no your your bite is just it's a d20 plus three it's not a wisdom thing it's a uh, it's an attack with a proficiency roll. All right, I'll just roll a d20. Yeah, we can add three to it. That's a hit. All right. So well, it's a d6 plus strength. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll be gaining temporary hit points if... Oh. Oh, yeah, you, uh, you murdered that thing. <laughs> Yeah, I bit its head right off. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I don't think your jaws are that big, but you definitely took a nice meaty chunk out of it. The and, last thing it saw was and its... tugged. Its, yep. The last thing it saw was its eye going into the mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Grody. So Jonk just bit the head off a of Nothic. <laughs> but I gotta... And I... I'm gonna... This... <laughs> Yeah, and you have one more attack. Yes, and they're gonna. I mean, can can I like just say I spit it out at the other one before making the swing? Sure. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. I bite it off, spit it right at the head of the Nothic one, and then swing my axe. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a hit. Uh. Not not that much damage. Hell of a loss of morale, though. <laughs> Yuli, your turn. I'm getting back in. Oh, no worries. Uh, I can no roll worries. for you if you'd like. 
<laughs> oh wait, um, we know what happens when I do that. Probably not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah I, no. Uh, <laughs> no. Fair, fair, fair. Not when I was like five seconds from getting in. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're going. I am going. Not a hit, unfortunately. That is a hit. Good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nearly nice damage. Nice. All of my rage. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of rage. Oh, that Nothic is also looking in great pain. Move. <laughs> Any anything else? And <laughs> oh, she's gonna move to the other side of it. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh Nothic one is uh is going to take is going to look at its uh fairly broken claws and its lot of blood. Um and uh, it's going to do its best. Um, go ahead and make a, a constitution saving throw, Yuli. Ah, uh, fun. Nope, bye. <laughs> All right, you're going to be taking 3d6 necrotic damage. Doesn't fun. really have claws to work with. Ow! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Mm. That is definitely a pains. That is an ouch. Uh-huh. So, yeah, Nothic's kind of dangerous generally out in the wild. <laughs> yeah, so, oof, that is... Did, wait, did you just add that 17, or...? Yes. Okay, so I did... Okay, you're, you're, you lost 17, not 34. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, wait, that's not right. Um, That's kind of all it can do, Uh, and it doesn't want... It's kind of trapped between a rock and a hard place, because if it moves in any direction, it's... Uh, it, can, it can move one square south. Yeah, yep, that's pretty it. much. That is trapped that's between a junk and a hard place. Uh huh. So it's just gonna sit there. Nothic three, uh, having seen a bunch of stuff. <laughs> it's gonna see a I bunch see. of stuff if it doesn't move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, get back here. And it's stopping at the door, scratching against it. Get back here. Nothic 4. Uh, uh, roll deception, Yuli. Okay. Actually, what? Fail. No! <laughs> uh, there's, there's still a chance, I guess. Um, let me just do this. I want to see what happens when I fail this. <laughs> nope! <laughs> that Nothic also, uh, you know, in in great pain and having failed to do anything is going to rush at this try to get it out. Lander, your turn. So if I move there, do I have line of sight to those two at the door? You sure do. I, I imagine that like it magically learned one fact or secret about the target and it just learned from Yuli like she's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, what it learned is that if it doesn't move, it's going to have this sword up its butt in a few seconds. <laughs> That's what it learned. So let's go for number four. four. That's a hit. <laughs> Boy, that is... Uh, That's tasty. That, that, that Nothic is blasted against the door, and it's just very weakly clawing at it now. That's another hit. <laughs> yep, still at number four. Pow, pow, and there's just this, like, smoky Oof. outline on the wall. <laughs> yep. Ow. Wow. And I just walked right past that it's, Gothic it, one. It's surrendering. They are surrendering. Ah. Uh. You know, you wouldn't think Is of it, it really? you wouldn't think about it looking I at them, I don't but Nothics are cowards. <laughs> the the Nothic 3, the one who just shouted, is like low, prostrating itself on the ground facing you all. Nothic 1 looks like if it, mo- it feels like if I move, I'm going to die. 
it, it would be correct. I mean, Nothix, Nothix as a as a as a creature, <clears throat> they kind of tend to hide out in dark spaces and spy and eat. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of their deal. Yeah. I'm inclined to take them prisoner and interrogate them. No, it's, we're not going to learn much from Nothix. <laughs> I don't I mean, know. They're, they're... they're smart enough that they're talking to us. I I, I don't want any part of this. <laughs> yeah, I, I was. I, I want to take them. I want to take them prisoner. Why? It doesn't seem. Why don't you just ask questions and then let them go? You, hey, let I mean, tell them go okay, take the north path. I, I I have this. <laughs> I I have this really crazy idea that's probably terrible. Explain it first, and then we'll judge it. Well, yes, I was about to <laughs> I think I know what it is. <laughs> I think Digo just said it, too. What, what were you going to guess it? Send them down the path of the mouthing not and the giving Rathers are. I, di I, didn't I didn't follow that. Send them down the path that the givering mouthers are. I wasn't going to say that, but that'd be one thing. <laughs> That's oh, a wait, terrible wait, wait. thing. Well, I was going to say, like... It, even even more amusing than killing these things would be you know making pets out of them. No, uh, no. no. I, I'll no. let you know now that is not going to work. No, I will also accept, also I will accept, real fast. Just going to point out making a sapient thing a pet is kind no. of frowned upon in many societies. Even well, more so like, than murdering them. Make I will accept the surrender if you want to talk to them, but they get to go afterwards. That's it. <laughs> That's my line. I don't. So they're... making minions, minions out of making minions out of me isn't an option. No. No, I'm not going to let you have I'm minions. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that nothings were created by some wizard thinking they can make a minion out of an aberrant creature. Mm-hmm. It's not <laughs> wise. They're fundamentally, I mean, if these ones in particular, they're being fundamentally cowardly and they'll take a chance to escape or, you know, backstab us at any opportunity. This is not wise. <laughs> worth, worth, worth noting, Nothics used to be, um, most Nothics mm -hmm. used to be wizards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what if happened. You... I can understand talking Sorry, to them since they're off. surrendering. I, you said Nothics use what? They Most used Nothics wizards. used to be wizards. Oh, okay. Dark magics. Okay, so um, do we do we want to take them and pump them for information? No. the the <laughs> an The answer is no for me. I mean, I don't care. They get to go. Uh, they get to leave. That's. Yeah, that's Yuli's thing. If they surrender, they're free to go. Well, if you guys don't want to take them to surrender, you're totally free to keep attacking them. Well, do you speak their language? You are literally the only one who can understand them. Well, yeah. I thought I informed the party that they you said did. they were surrendering. No, yeah. we are. We we got yeah. that. They this. If you want to talk to them, that's fine. I mean, it's kind of hard to. I mean, I. I mean, as long as we're in battle, I'm kind of hard to focus on asking them asking them for information. Talking is a free action. Just yell at them. If they don't give you the answer that you John, want. John, what did it say? They, they say they can tell us what is on the other side of the door. What is Fine. on the other side of the door? Fine, accept their surrender. Send them, send them on their way. See, we get information. Let's take a moment and talk. All right, Junk, you're on point. <laughs> it hasn't posted yet. This is the. So, we'll tell you what it's on the other side of the door. So yes, you will need to. You will need. To, they don't understand any. You have to be the one to tell them that their surrender is uh, accepted. We just watched Junk start All speaking right. in. Some abyssal language. Under common, to be specific. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. I, I, I know Goblin, and I thought that was going to be useful. <laughs> I mean, maybe on the first it, floor. The, I, was... there, I mean, the, there are 
still plenty of bugbears and goblins. Don't worry, my friend. <laughs> um, I was surprised to hear Infernal today, and I am very happy with it. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to taunt it in Infernal, but then it died. Mm-hmm. Well, you can taunt its corpse in Infernal. He says, they say rats tell us a man walking on two legs. They say they bear master who is a wizard, a purple-skinned elf with eyes of blood and hair of ivory. So a dark or a drow. And that's all on the other side of this one door? What I got from that was there's a wizard and a drow and maybe some rats. I'm not... Entirely sure. The accent isn't helping in this case. <laughs> yeah. It's like we have to translate it twice, like that scene in uh, Hot Fuzz. Yeah, basically. What's it say? They move in the shifts. We hear at least eight today. What did he say? <laughs> they move in shifts. We've heard at least eight today. Okay. Man, not what I heard, but yeah. <laughs> so what was that first block again? The rats tall as a man walking on two legs. They obey a master, a wizard. Purple skinned, an elf. Blood Wait, there's a rat king? Blood. No, so there's these rat people, and then there's the, p- assumably, It's a wizard, wizard which might drow, be a drow. Who's their master. And that's oh. on the other side of this door. The rats walking on two legs the size of a man might be bugbears. I don't know a whole lot about D&D monsters, so it could just be giant rats walking on two legs, but... Mm. We will find out in that case, then. I think we could always find a bugbear and ask him. I, uh... mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was sarcasm. What does Undercommon, like, sound like for in the theater of the mind sense? Uh, Is it like... It, I, would, I would say it's like the German of uh, Common, in that it's very, like, mm. guttural. Gotcha. Um, that would be my, my sort of guess. <coughs> so what's Infernal, then? It's Infernal? Huh, that's an excellent question. I always thought that Infernal was the more German sound. <coughs> uh, possibly. I, I don't really like giving any one language, uh, like real world language to demons. So. Maybe like they're both German, but different dialects. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I suppose. Um, I know that there was this way, there was this uh, tone to it that I always liked thinking about it, and I can't really describe it right now. Kind of the dual tone demonic sound, or yeah. I asked them what the connection. I asked them what the connection to the wizard was. They said that the wizard holds territories they do not, and they wished to take it from him. So what's beyond that door is this wizard's territory, and probably means more trouble for us. Good. Well. We have to go this yep. way anyway to get downstairs. Do, do they know where the, the stairs to the next floor are? Oh, yeah, good. that's a good idea. Ask Just... them. Hmm. Actually, the stairs might be to the east and south. Well, let's ask them. Because it looks like the passage that we went on does not connect to the goblin. Yeah, I, I noticed that too, but... That's a long way around. Yeah. Yep. I yeah. I asked what kind of power does the wizard wield, and well, and he, great magics. We have no seen him, but he makes his presence known in other ways. So it's the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> ask them how do how do we get to the floor below this one? I'm, that's on. That's on the to-do list. 
<laughs> Sorry, I, I'm looking at like a, a just a, a whole bunch of different things. So give I, me a moment. I'm just looking at, I'm trying to decipher what's being said, so I don't actually know mm -hmm. what you said in order. I'm asking what are the ways? They said lights, fire, blasts of cold and heat. So wizard stuff. A voice like and thunder as he commands his horde. Evocation and conjuration, maybe. Or it's just controlling these rat people. Sounds fun. So you were asking, uh, are you going to ask where the floor is, or the edge oh, of I'm the floor? Is? Okay, I, ju I just. Jean just has to a list, apparently. I know, I know. These are some complex questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my takes, god, Chuck! <laughs> it takes a while. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm ask I'm asking. Are you I mean, scheduling said... like tea time? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we need They said that the wizard holds territories they do not. I'm figuring out who they're answering to that wants the wizard's territory. Your lucky numbers are six, nine, thirteen. <laughs> Can you please ask how to get to the next floor next, please? Give me just a moment. I have to look up some stuff about Nothic. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna take a moment. So I made um, a new note called Nothic Info. That's just Basically Fair. summarizing the stuff. Fair enough. Um, <sighs> Look, we've got them to interrogate. I'm going to interrogate. That he's Nothics, doing. Nothics, though. <laughs> Nothics. In fairness, we've actually learned quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm In rather surprised. In fairness. But... I I have literally never seen a Nothic hold a conversation. I'm not complaining with this one. First time for everything. They said mm -hmm. they answer to a lich named Vesna. B E C N A. That's Vecna. That's oh. Vecna. That's no. Vecna. Oh. <laughs> That's no. fucking Vecna. No. Vesna. Oh my god. Uh, well, that was so perfect. Sorry, Jawa. Just like some some lich named Vesna, like just like everyone's eyes just boggled. Some, it looks like we can even justify some, having that name register. So, so, it, it, it probably some lich named some... Windows Vista. <laughs> <laughs> this is mostly me freaking out over the name Vecna. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Yeah, Everybody's here. <laughs> it says that the expansion will ensure that that more become like them, or be, or to quote, our expansion will ensure more become of us. <sighs> missing an eye in one hand. What? <laughs> <laughs> she no longer resides in this realm. We follow the will she left behind. Ah, okay. Yeah, you don't have to worry about Vecna being part Unless I have seriously misread part of this book. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's kind of a different campaign. <laughs> uh, so they, they, are, they are followers of Vecna by nature. Got it. <laughs> Junk, please ask them how to get to the next floor. I don't think that's what he's asking. Junk! <laughs> Junk, I swear to whatever you hold holy, ask them how to get <laughs> downstairs. I like how Yuli's just bouncing around doing this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm trying to shake him. <laughs> the 
Kang has a prolonged conversation with Nothix. <laughs> <laughs> they said that no place they have sh- searched shows shows the way down. They are separated from those who would know. Trapped on the side by the wizard and the beholder. Uh, so it's on that what? side, probably. <laughs> mm. So it, it, it's probably to the west, but excuse me, a beholder? They are trapped on this side by the wizard and the beholder. Okay, then. <laughs> Could we get a... Okay, fine. Could we get a little clarification on beholder, like, on this floor? So, for for people listening at home all this time... Just to remind, if you haven't been watching the video versions, Fantasy Grounds lets you type in other yes. languages to keep uh, information mm-hmm. secret among those who know the language. Yes, it allows for passing of notes. Um, so uh, I'm going to be relatively silent here and since this is being translated. <laughs> for instance, Yuli uh-huh. can say whatever she likes in Infernal. And only I can read it. <laughs> Does it does it sound does it does what she say sound like she's upset? Yes. I'll tell you exactly what she said she said just because I'm funny. I said, Hello God, it's me Yuli, I wanna cry. Lander can type in something. I can't Primordial. Read. Primordial. Yep. I can read that. I have primordial. No, I guess I don't have any languages that are specific to me. Mm-mm. Well, I'm not quite sure what this means. But Maybe Elvin. The undead that watches the East and its master, the Guildmaster. So it's an undead beholder. And the Guildmaster, which I'm thinking so is Xanathar's better. guild. Hmm. Sorry, recap. <sighs> So there's an undead beholder on the other side at some point. Lovely. Well, I mean, that's better than a live beholder, probably. I think it's pretty bad regardless. Yeah, yeah. And we have to go that way. Basically. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ander, no one else speaks Elvish. <laughs> Okay, so that's the one I have. I think so. everybody. I think everybody has one language that they speak that nobody else. Does. I might have two. I think What's you have common? several, Sean. Yeah, I've What's got deep common? speech, draconic, and undercommon. Mm-hmm. All right, button up your armor, gents. Let's go. Oh gosh, this is gonna suck. Are you looking up, or are you, or is my my question get left? Lost? Going to? Oh, uh, sorry, I did. I, I missed the question in all the text. <clears throat> Should I retype it, or did you? No, I saw. It. I see it now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Going to? Uh, excuse me. We found out we were already dead, reconstituted, and we're an under mountain. How is it now just starting to suck? Yeah, this well, this is we- hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We Welcome to again. hell. Okay, yes, it is a uh, reanimated monstrosity that has slain many of their brethren. Oh, good. Okay, so this is. Well, how in going. fairness, so have we. <laughs> the undead watches the east or the west? Um, The east. Okay. To the west is the wizard and the rat monsters, and to the west, or to the west is the wizard and the rat monsters, to the east is. Hmm. So to the east of where we are right now. Yes. Which would require a lot of backtracking at this point. And okay. east. Pro- Regardless. Um, I feel like there are more questions to ask, but right now I'm drawing a blank. Yep. I think we've gotten a lot. So yeah, need- and, and they'll only know so much because they only have so much territory on this floor. Mm. So we need to go and possibly they're, west. They're essentially foot soldiers following... Not so much a person as an idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're basically rogue AI. <laughs> I'm going to delete the owl token. Sounds reasonable. Explaining them as rogue AI like, makes me like them even more. <laughs> that makes total sense in retrospect, Jawa. Okay, so 
we need the exit is probably to the west. We need to go west. That's where well, the wizard okay, so is. Are, okay, I, I say one thing to him as I let them. I mean, because I, 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 I presume at this point we're letting them go. Yes. Oh, yeah, no, they can go. Oh, have, have them tell them to have the others leave us alone. I doubt we're going to be able to get in good with the aberrants, but okay. <laughs> Just... I'll tell them the tales of our victory. Yeah, those guys they, murdered they a ton of us. They're, they're great. They just, you know, <laughs> they're they're cool guys that definitely didn't kill a bunch of us on site. If there's no, one I'm thing I'm to tell them that's so that they'll get scared and not attack us because they're going to die if they do. I'm not sure you understand how monsters work. I mean, they're cowards. They're monstrous cowards. They might come back in bigger numbers, but like, and, and the thing about intimidation tactics, two, they they can, you can easily go the other way. You can either make if you're successful, they cower. If you're unsuccessful, they come back in a rage. They come yeah. back for vengeance. With, you know, more force and smarter tactics, because they really want you dead. I'm not speaking from experience here or anything. <laughs> okay, well. None of us have experience. <laughs> well, yeah. they're heading off then. Yep, okay. they're out. And if you want, Jawa, you can pick up some Nothic claws. Ooh. <laughs> Make a necklace out of them. Because they broke against Yuli's, Yuli's armor. How many, how many Nothic claws can I pick up? At least six. I'm yeah. It's like roll a d6. Yeah, you get that many. Yeah, roll a d6. You'll get that many uh, in good condition. Nice, six. you got six. Wow, they yeah. broke clean off. They they sure did. Uh, I'll toss six Nothic claws into your inventory. Nailed Woo. it. <sighs> <sighs> nice one. Oops. Now I've got go. now I've got Nothic claws to go with my Nothic fang. Yeah, you, you sure do. You're a regular old Nothic repository. All right, so what would you all like to do? Good and also, question. congratulations Bye. on defeating the Nothics to see here. <laughs> are we are we trying to go through the door? I am going through the door. Okay. Uh, again, the the Nothics themselves could not get through the door. There is a lock on it. Uh, fine. I'm Can we break the lock? going through the door with my sword. <laughs> what is Maybe the door axe? made of? Uh, it's made of wood. The lock is not physical. It's magic. Oh, I'm good at magic. I can dispel it. But that costs yeah. a slot, yeah, that's... so I don't want to do that. That's not going to work, unfortunately, Yuli. It's real fast. If you want to break it, uh, roll an athletics check. <laughs> also not going to cut it but you have it's almost, uh, it's almost like athletic. this is meant to keep two. enemies out yeah oh, <laughs> why don't you throw it ow oh Oof. yeah that I push on it and it's like no it's not breaking <laughs> I think that hurt a little bit Jawa <laughs> I think one damage <laughs> Does that even I, that I, one did I'm that temp HP I took from biting hey. the knock of that off. Yeah. Doesn't... Whoops, not 87, 7. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll it, it can it can cut into that temp HP. Okay. Uh unfortunately a 20 is not gonna cut it. Yeah, I figured. What? Mm. Nope. This is a very sturdy door. Oh, do you want me to dispel mm. magic? However, y'all have I made could. plenty of noise by this point. Yeah. Right? No. Uh, we we could just I just I just knock on the door. I just after trying to after trying to shove my shoulder into it, I just shrug and knock on the door with my hand. In all fairness, uh, uh, Lander gets your spell flats after like thirty minute rest, my dude. <laughs> yeah, it's it's short rest. I do, but we need to have. Can time I help you rest anything? Uh, can we? Oh, okay. Now oh, everyone, no. step away from the door and wait for someone to come out. It did not come from the door. Oh, it it came from the room you're in. Uh, Hi, we're hello? just uh, passing through, trying to reach the next floor down. Wait, so there's something invisible in the room? 
There yes. sure is. Where? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's invisible. Where? <laughs> Can I hear? Where? Where did the sound go? I'm going from? to cry. <laughs> First off, I believe you have disadvantage. <laughs> well, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, no, that's not going to cut it. Drops an 18. Nah. <laughs> Who's there? You uh, already rolled a... Oh, wait, no, that was your athletics. Yeah, no, that was athletics. Victor, would you like to roll as well? Uh, What am I rolling? Uh, disadvantage perception. Perception with disadvantage. Perception with disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what... Uh, That Oops. didn't do it. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. No, that's not it either. Why is it not working? Uh, just yeah, there should just be that disadvantage button, and then just throw a dice on the chat log. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's a three. That's not going to cut it. I mean, I know you have yeah. more to your perception, but I think even with your massive bonuses, it's not going to cut. Yeah. Uh, Jonk, the the best you can tell, even with that twenty three, is. Uh, you can get a general idea that it's somewhere near the door, but like there's there's just a big enough range that it's kind of impossible for you to even get a, a hone in on it. The, the Nothics did describe kind of a thunderous voice, so mm-hmm. yeah, but this was the room we were all just in. <laughs> yep. Mm. Uh Anyway, so I just I just kind of cordially reply ah. Sorry to bother you. Uh, we're just a group of adventurers looking to pass through to the next floor, wondering if it's in uh, that part of the dungeon. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, no. The path down is not in my purvey. At least, not a completed one yet. Oh. Ah. Curious. It, would you mind if I, you know, pried further to ask, are you building a new passage down i'm working on it oh that's that's fascinating thank you uh i don't suppose uh, i don't suppose you have any clues as to (laughs) we've been over quite a span of this floor by now uh Mm. and (laughs) trust me i am most familiar with adventures of your ah yeah it's been it's been an interesting few days uh (laughs) to say the least yes uh, so they're way I, back I, north. Is sorry, what? Way back north. In, uh, in his territory. Yeah. No, my location is a, is a. My location has access to several wonderful areas, but nothing in particular will be useful to you. We don't have to believe okay. that, but I don't really need to pry. I, I don't. I don't say that in character. Uh, I say, well, uh, actually, a moment, and there's a pause as you feel. Even though you can't see it, you definitely feel like all of you are being very thoroughly examined. We're being scanned. Hooray! <laughs> angry I recognize you all. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, you're the adventurers that came with that other party, are you not? The boy. Maybe. Yeah, supposedly. Yeah. Allegedly. I mm. didn't hear any of that. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, he said we're the part. We're the the group that came in with the other adventuring party with the boy. The boy being Miles. Hmm. So he knows us. He in. <sighs> I, uh, so, us, okay. This. Did you have any luck with what I asked of you? Ah, uh, I'm gonna assume uh, no. Uh, You're just gonna come out and say it, Lander. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna come out you and say it. No, we 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 ran afoul of. We ran afoul of a rather unfortunate fate. <laughs> I see. Well, that is most unfortunate. 
<sighs> I suppose I should. Mm. But Let's see. If you for failed what, last for... time, maybe I should not. We, we, for whatever reason, whatever fortune has smiled upon us, we have been given a second chance, in a sense. Mm. Mm. Yes. Well, at the very least, I can give you this. And uh, a wand drops to the floor in the middle of the room. Hmm. Huh. I have no use for such trinkets. Can, um, can, can we observe it to you know see if it looks like it might be a trick? Oh, it's no trick. This is a very, this is a very, very badly made wand. Clearly intent, clearly used by someone inexperienced. Yeah, I don't think any of us uses a wand. Hmm. I knew that none of you did. I am familiar with your tactics. No, the boy left this in my realm. Ah. Hmm. I see no point in holding on to it, so you may as well return it. All right. I'm going to pick it up, because... <laughs> it explodes! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, it's, it's just a very crap wand. Uh, and you can see even etched in the handle is Miles. Because <laughs> I oh figured God, y'all had... Oh dork that he writes his name in his underwear. Because <laughs> I figured y'all had forgotten about this quest by now. Oh. <laughs> did he ask us to retrieve his wand? He sure did. Yeah. Well, um, now I have his wand, so it's fine. Mm-hmm. Now we uh, just need to not be dead anymore fun. to make it back out. Yeah, yeah that's the, that's the slight problem is that we can't actually leave, and we're kind of also on a on a maybe timer. Chestnut. Uh, <laughs> and uh, pass it into chestnut. All right, but uh, yeah, chest chestnut will take hold of the wand. I'll let me just take a moment to add it to the pile. So Pat I'd also like to put the leather armors that I have in chestnut. Sure, go ahead. Because I've got like two leather armors that I'm not using. Sure. I've I've also yeah, I've also got um leather armor that I'm just not gonna be using at all. Okay. We can mm. uh we can toss all that stuff in at the end of the session after all right. already seven oh seven oh seven, so we'll wanna end fairly so, soon. Uh I say, well, thank you very much. We were we were looking for that. And mm. we uh appreciate uh mm. Appreciate your assistance, and uh, we're sorry with uh, how we might have let you down before. Oh, it's fine. As as I said, I do not have the exit here, but if you are heading to the exit, I would appreciate a small task. You you've can been... always, as you said, you've been given a second chance, so it's only fair I let you try again. Is the task to kill something? Can we have your name too? <laughs> um, You're going yeah, to have if, to elaborate. Uh, he's just being dramatic, people. Let yeah. him finish. <laughs> <laughs> um, he he continues. Of course, if you had forgotten, I am the wizard Rizarek. Sorry, cut off a little bit at the end there. I am the wizard Rizarek. And I seek to make Rizzer. I'll put it in the chat Rizzero. so you can. Yes, Rizzero, 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 Rizzero. Oh, I put it in under common. <laughs> Whoops. That's sorry. Happens. My bad. Common. Is it that? No, it's uh, it's yeah. this. Hmm. Rizzerill. Okay. Yeah. I missed a Z and swapped a Y with an E. Yep, that's basically it. Rizzero. Um. Okay. Yes, Rizzerill. Uh, Rizzer will continue. I seek to liberate this this particular floor from the unfortunate grip of the Xanathar Guild and would be very interested in receiving the heads of Nadia the Unbent and Shun Shurith, the masters of the local outposts. If you do manage to bring me their heads, I would be more than happy to give you something that will assist in your exploration of this floor and potentially below. Considering it, is it something of, that will help us get past the gates that guard every floor? 
Is that map? useful? Unfortunately, no. I know of no map beyond this floor. Hmm. The item in question is something that can open doors that may have been unaccessible. As for the runes that line the entrances and exits of each floor, I am afraid, as powerful as I am, I am not quite capable of removing Halister's magics. Fair enough. Well, for the moment, I'd say the most honest answer would be our exploration of this floor shall continue. And if we happen upon those outposts, we will take your request into consideration. Very well. Thank you for humoring me. If nothing else, you're quite welcome. And I'm going to. Rizzerill will be gone. <clears throat> I guess it's time to climb back up a chute. Yeah, looks like it. Because it seems like that's literally the only way to, that connects the two things. Yeah, this section is going to cut off the rest. Because there is that door there. That door right there. But is the the west is the way we need to go? We we basically just have to search down another hallway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that may be what we decide next time. Because mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Uh, we're at our yeah, time. Yeah, it's, it's late enough. Uh, let me do one thing real fast. Uh, as you, uh, if you are going back up the chute, um. I'll uh, I'll keep it simple. Uh, you'll you'll need to make some rolls to get back up it, but you hear something at the very top: the crackle of lightning and the laughter of a skull. Mm -hmm. No, uh, I and mean the casting of Pass Without Trace. I feel like we have no choice but to go up hey, the chute. There, there's so no other path. Genuine question. If we can kill that skull, could we take it to, like, Rizarel and get him to shut it down permanently? Mm, I don't know that I can give you a solid answer on that. Well, I well, I was more asking the party. Oh. How about we just, how about we just take it and then bring it with us and chuck it at some gibbering mouthers and then just run? Let's just kill it. <laughs> Let's kill it. Please. Well, the problem with that plan is we run into get gibbering mouthers. I mean, there's we don't really run from that. We just kill them. No, we yeah. run from that. <laughs> I was thinking the ones that are over in, like, this corner here. Or we could not deal with them at all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot more decisions ahead of us because we are still not done with the third floor despite exploring quite a bit of it. Mm -hmm. Second floor. Yeah, second floor. <laughs> second. Oh god. Second it's floor. you. Yeah, you're you're actually about halfway through it. There's a lot. Yeah. I think it goes to. Let me see. I'm just checking my like notes here. Uh, like we got this stuff over here. I got this stuff down here. Ten. Yeah. Uh, my my pins go to Damn. floor two, uh, area twenty six, room five. Number E. <laughs> yeah, this stuff down here. And yeah, all that stuff. There's a there. lot. The like I said, these are big floors. Yeah, basically whole ecosystems unto themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. so looks like we need to go south by way of north and east. Mm-hmm. And. Well, there's also the long passageway north. Well, oh wait, yeah, we gotta go around for all that anyway. Yeah. Yeah, this particular section is sealed off. At least as far as we can tell. So we do gotta we go back fight through. the skull one more time before we end, or do we want to save that for next time? No, we'll save that for next time. We're yeah, I, that's why I put it at the end. Is I think it's better saved for next time. All right. Well, I think I'll get on with the closing spiel then. All right. Thank you for listening to our Spud Ventures. If you like what you heard, you can find more at youtube.com slash newbiespud or spudventures.libsyn.com, livesyn.com, or uh, Google Play or iTunes, or wherever you get your fine podcasts. 
Uh, we aim to live stream these games every Sunday around 2 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash NoobySpud. If you want to keep up with this and other projects I'm doing, can you follow me at uh, on Twitter at NoobySpud. And if you want to support my ability to produce content like this, please support me at uh, patreon.com slash NoobySpud. See you next time with a brand new game that we haven't decided on yet. Some manner of mini campaign in a session we haven't tried before. That's how we like to do it. But we don't actually <laughs> and I'm going to take a break. <laughs> and yeah, Den's going to take a break from, from GMing so much, like every week. Uh, no worries. I'm happy to do it. I, I enjoy this. Uh, I should probably get back in the, the GM chair at some point. Maybe maybe for like a one shot and something. I don't know. But we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Yeah, bye.